Oh, what's there to do? Well, why don't we go down to Mr. Dingle's general store and have a cherry root beer? Have you got any money? No, I'm broke. Mm, so am I. So that takes care of the cherry root beers. Mm. <laughs> hey, why don't we hold a carnival? That's always a good way to make some money. Hey, I like that idea. Well, I could play the strong man and show off the power of my muscles. And I could do my mind reading act and demonstrate the power of my mind. Hey, and I could paint some signs to tell everyone about our carnival. Boy, there's nothing like the power of advertising. <laughs> you know, that's funny. What's funny? What we said. I mean, we all talked about power. Hi, guys. Hi back. What are you discussing? We were talking about the different kinds of power. Oh, there are lots of different kinds. The power of love and the power of the imagination. And, and the power of Mother Nature. Gee, I'd forgotten all about those kind of powers. Well, I'll see y'all later. I'm just in the mood for a big, juicy piece of chocolate marshmallow-covered pie and a tutti-frutti milkshake. Hurry, huh? hey, Anna! I thought you were on a diet to lose some weight. Diet? Oh, yeah, yes, I, I am. But that doesn't mean I want to starve to death. <laughs> well, I can think of one power we didn't mention, one that Henrietta's probably never heard of. <laughs> what kind is that? Willpower. <laughs> 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 Say, Henrietta, what is he doing? Oh, Fred, it's exercising to build up his muscles for his act in the carnival. Okay, Freddie, relax, relax just a minute, and then we'll see how you do with your weightlifting. Look at these muscles. Wowie wow. Do I have power and how? Leaping tall buildings, you've heard of that? Well, I can do more. And that's a fact. I'm so powerful, I can jump over mountains. Yes, I can. There's no one as strong as I am. 500 pounds, I can lift over my head. With one hand, I can pick up eight chairs in a bed. I'm powerful enough to break a board with my teeth. Yes, no one can say I am weak. Look at these muscles. Oh, wowie wow. Do I have power? And how? Give me a rock and I'll grind it to sand. I'll tear my phone books in half with my bare hands. Run a couple of miles. That's easy to do. Faster than a jet, I'll come through. Not only can I lift my bed, I'll lift why, if I could, I'd even lift me. There's nothing like being the most powerful thing around. In the water, in the air, and on solid ground. Look at these muscles. Oh, wowie wow. Do I have power? And how? Now, Freddy, are you really more powerful than a train? Well. Can you really go as fast? As a plane. Well. Come on, I'd like to see you lift 500 pounds. Well. Freddy, your power comes nowhere near all the other power that's around. Like electric power. <laughs> Mechanical power. Honka, jonka. Engine power. Ring, ring. Gasoline power. <laughs> all run our industries and heat our homes. Make our cars go so mad. 
are just man-made types of power. Excuse me, boys, but you all are on the wrong track. Well, I still say I'm powerful. Well, since you're so strong, let me see you lift Henrietta. <laughs> <laughs> well... Oh, that's okay, Fred of Sugar. Maybe some other time when y'all have had your vitamins. Yeah. Charles, you and your man-made power. Y'all forgot the power of good old Mother Nature. Hurricanes, rain, snow, storms, earthquakes, lightning, rays from the sun that warm, wind, hail, volcanoes and shooting stars. Nature's more powerful than we. Okay. If you're so powerful, let's see you lift those barbells there, okay? Yeah. Oh, my goodness, that shawl sure looks heavy. Lots and lots of pounds. And you all are gonna lift that up? Uh-huh. Okay, well, let's pretend you're doing your strongman act in the carnival. Charlie, make with the big introduction. All right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, step right up. For one thin dime, one-tenth of a dollar, see the world's strongest frog accomplish an absolutely impossible feat of strength and power. And okay, so, hey, Freddy. Freddy. Let's give it a Freddy try. Freddy Frog, here we go. Come on, Freddy. Okay. You can do it. You can do it. I know you can do it, Come on, baby. 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 Come what if I told you about leaving your toys lying around so that everybody can trip over them? Mm. Well, what's the matter with you people anyway? Why the funny look? Well, Freddy. Well, uh, what? Now, what are we going to do about our strongman act? Oh, no problem. We simply enlist the services of Ferdinand. Oh, Ferdinand. Why didn't I think of Ferdinand? <laughs> Who's Ferdinand? Oh, Ferdinand, my train flea, of course. Of course. <laughs> Train flea? Yes, train flea. I just happen to have him with me. Come on out, Ferdinand. Meet oh. the gang. Train flea. Oh, there you are, Ferdinand. Oh, oh there it is. I hope I didn't interrupt you from taking a nap or watching TV or something. I don't see anything. Well, of course you don't. Ferdinand's a very small flea. <laughs> small but mighty. I still don't see what a flea has to do with your strongman act. Well, you see, fleas like ants are very strong for their size. Unlike us, they can lift or pull or carry many times their own weight. And you've trained this flea to lift or push things? Oh, yes, along with teaching him to do a two-and-a-half uh, backward somersault with a full gainer into a thimble full of water. <laughs> oh, hey, I'll show you how strong he is. Go on, Ferdinand, get under that rock over there, all right? Yes, let's show these disbelievers. I know, I know, but listen closely. I want you to push that rock across the courtyard. Yes, okay, go. Ah, that's the way. <laughs> no. Oh, now, wait a minute, Charlie. The people who are going to see the string or wire you use to pull that rock. <laughs> All right, Ferdinand, don't get upset. Now, you, you think there's a string or some kind of a trick, do you? Yeah. Well, watch this. Okay, Ferdinand, show these people how strong you are. Here he goes. Hey. Hello, baby. Oh, 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 oh. Hey, Ferdinand, you sure showed him that time. <laughs> oh, Charlie, could Ferdinand help me with something in my house? I know, I know. I promised you some food. But just do this one little last thing for Henrietta. Come on, Ferdinand. Ma, I wish I could meet a hippo as strong as you all, sugar. <laughs> Push him along. Yeah. Yeah. We'll have to hurry. The ladies will be here soon for the luncheon, and we sure want to be ready for them. I'm making these grilled parsnip sandwiches as fast as my electric stove will grill them. Hi, girls. Say, what are you up to? Oh, we're just trying to get the place cleaned up and ready, you know, for Well, the... you know, Doug asked me to come over and see if you wanted to do something in the carnival. We'd love 
to, Charles, but we can't. Well, see, today is the monthly meeting for the Outdoor Ladies Garden and Karate Club, and it's our turn to have the luncheon. Oh. You know, if it weren't for electric power, we'd never be ready on time. Oh, I don't know. What's so important about electricity? After all, man did without it for thousands of years. Henrietta, think of all the conveniences that electric power makes possible for us, like... Oh, automatic dishwashers and electric pop-up toasters. Yeah, and... I go to bed at night nice and comfy under my electric blanket, and my electric clock radio awakens me in the morning to beautiful music and starts my automatic pop-up toaster so that I can enjoy breakfast in bed. You must really enjoy that. Well, not at first I didn't. Why not? Well, because at first I had the toaster plugged into my electric blanket and I kept popping out of bed all night. <laughs> <laughs> that could only happen to you, Charlie. <laughs> yeah. Well, <clears throat> I've got to get back to work on the carnival. See ya. Oh, I still don't see what the big deal is about needing electric power. Now, what happened to this sweeper all of a sudden? Charles, could y'all come back for a moment? The vacuum cleaner broke down. It didn't break down. The electric power went off, and I'm stuck in my electric elevator. Help, someone, get me down from here. Help! Oh, dear, the electric power is off. Well, maybe we blew a fuse. I don't think so. Charlie's elevators quit running, too. There must be something wrong at the power company. Oh, we'll forget the sandwiches, and the ladies will just have to be content with ice-cold lemonade. Well, in that case, they'd sure better get here sooner. The ice cubes will melt. How much time do we have before they show up? Oh, Henrietta, I don't know. Your electric clock has stopped. Oh, the sweeper! It's working! Hey, that means the electric power is back on! Hooray! Goodness! Then we better get moving. We got lots to do before they get here. I know it. Oh, 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 where oh, should I start baby. first? There's so much to be done. Mm -hmm. Amy Joe, you all get it. I'm too busy. I can't oh. stop now. Hello? Oh, hello, Mrs. Finister. Yes? Oh, that's too bad. Oh, yes, we understand. Yes, I'll tell her. Okay, goodbye. Well, we don't have to get ready because they're not coming. They're not coming? Why aren't they coming? Because the battery in Mrs. Finister's car won't start. <laughs> I'll never build another electric elevator. Never. Down, you department store reject. Charlie, what are you so mad about? Ah, this blasted elevator. The electric power went off, and I was stranded halfway up in my own elevator. Well, I guess that shows you how dependent we all have become on power. Boy, that's for sure. When we don't have it, we sure realize how much we need it. <laughs> Takes power, power. Switch off, switch on, switch on, switch off. To drive or ferry takes power, 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 power.
out here and take a bow, Charlie. Oh, thank you. Say, what are you reading, Doug? I'm reading one of your books on hypnotism, Charlie. I, I thought I might do a hypnotist act in our carnival. Hey, that's a good idea. Well, why don't you practice on Charlie and see if you can hypnotize him? Ah, you'd be wasting your time. You could never hypnotize me. Well, why don't you let me try? No, thanks. I'm telling you, it just wouldn't work. Go ahead, Charlie. Let him try. Oh, all right, if it'll make you happy. Uh, good. Uh, okay, uh, let's see now, Charlie. Look into my eyes. You are getting very sleepy. You are getting very, very, very sleepy. You can't hold your eyes open. You are... Hmm? Oh, no. It looks like I hypnotized the wrong person. Hi, Bowie. Oh, hi. What brings you girls over here? Well, we thought that we'd help you with your carnival. Yes, what can we do to help? Well, Henrietta, you could help us with your wind power. How do I do that? By blowing up those balloons for our carnival. Oh, I could do that good. Where are they? Right over there. I blow them up nice and big for y'all. <laughs> well, don't blow them up too big, okay? <laughs> Say, Doug, how come Freddy's asleep? Uh, well, I accidentally hypnotized him and put him to sleep, see? Accidentally? <laughs> yes, you see, I was actually trying to hypnotize Charlie, but instead I hypnotized Freddy and he oh. fell asleep. Oh, well. mm. Henrietta, I think you've blown up that balloon big enough. Just a bit bigger. Oh. Say, we better see about Freddy. Oh, hey, Freddy, wake up, Freddy, wake up. Hey, gee, Doug, look what you did to Freddy. Oh, Charlie, he was just trying to have a little harmless fun. Well, I don't know. This Charlie, could be... he'll wake up. We all should forgive each other for the silly mistakes that we make. After all, that's part of loving each other, and love is important. Talk about the power of the mind. How about the power of love? Emmy Joe's right. That's one of the biggest and most important powers of all. The power of love. No limit, no boundaries to what it can do. And all that power is inside of people like me and you. It's like electricity It can spark you and make you feel warm inside We woke up Freddy. Oh. <laughs> oh, great and wondrous Swami, 
Are you prepared to test the powers of your know-it-all mind? What's going on here? Why is Henrietta blindfolded? Oh, she's preparing for our big act in the carnival. What kind of an act is that? Our mind-reading act. Uh -huh. Mind-reading act? Yes, I hold up an object and I, well, I uh, give her a little clue to help her along. I shall demonstrate. For someone, please give me something from their person. Oh, here. What about this? Huh? Ah, yes. Okay. All right, this is your big chance, Swami. What am I holding in my hand? Your thoughts aren't getting through yet. Oh, yeah. Uh, it's made from leather and you wear it. A belt. Try again. A motorcycle jacket. All right, let's try a different approach. You put them over your feet. Leather socks? Let me put it this way. What do you look for when you enter a shoe store? A salesman. Uh, and what does the salesman sell you? The wrong. All right, I'll give you one more chance. You keep your money in it. And now I got it, my shoe. Right. Oh. Well, folks, that's the act. What do you think? I think that uh, <laughs> we have just demonstrated a kind of power that we'd all forgotten about. What kind of power is that? The power of positive hinting. <laughs> oh, I ain't going to play anymore. Oh, well. Well. Oh. La, 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 la,